In a similar chemical reaction, as the one we have done before, we're going to react magnesium along with some hydrochloric acid. It's going to feel an awful lot like the let's make a salt lab, except we're using some magnesium, you can see it here, along with hydrochloric acid. Again, I've taken some hydrochloric acid, I've poured it out into a beaker. The lab might call for 10 or 20 milliliters, meaning I don't need to measure it very accurately. I immediately put the cap back on the hydrochloric acid, move it out of the way. The magnesium, I'm going to go ahead and weigh, get into the habit of using a weigh boat. Okay. I have to double check my mass of my magnesium by weighing it uh, very carefully. I'm also going to go ahead and take my beaker. I sometimes will weigh my beaker beforehand, then I'll sometimes use my hot hands, heat it up for three, four minutes or so, again at about four or five, then using the hot hands, allow it to cool, reweigh it again to see if it's the same mass. That moisture that might be on there, I can actually determine quantitatively how much moisture might have boiled away. Uh, it gives me two masses for my beaker and I can feel a little bit more confident and more reliable about my mass of my empty beaker. All right. The magnesium should be nice and shiny. Most of the magnesium pieces we have are shiny. You shouldn't really need steel wool, but if you get magnesium that's really dull or looks all corroded, then you might need some steel wool to scrape it. Once you do scrape it, you'll have to go ahead and remass the magnesium. The magnesium can be in the beaker. It doesn't really matter if it's sitting up or sitting down. The magnesium will react with the hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid will be, will be at the bottom of the beaker. So ideally, you would try to get most of the magnesium also toward the bottom of the beaker so they can react with each other. We've weighed our magnesium, we've weighed our beaker. Sometimes I'll also double check to make sure that everything is correct, that when I weigh this, the magnesium and the beaker, that it's the weight of the magnesium by itself and the weight of the beaker by itself added together. Double and triple check. We'll go ahead and add some hydrochloric acid. The lab might call you to use a pipette to add a little bit of acid onto the magnesium at a time. If things are moving okay and they're not too fast, I will go ahead and pour some of my acid onto the magnesium as long as it's not going too crazy. Once the magnesium has completely reacted with the hydrochloric acid and there's no visible magnesium left or there's almost no visible magnesium left, I'm going to go ahead take this, bring it over into the fume hood, put it on the fume hood for a day, maybe two days, and wait for all of the excess water to be boiled off. Now the question you might ask yourself is where, the, where is the water? Well the hydrochloric acid is not pure, no. The hydrochloric acid has some water in it. I'll go ahead and throw this out, okay. Sometimes I'll rinse it with some water to go ahead and rinse it with water first. Any extra acid I'm not going to pour into the original container. Any extra acid I might see if any of my friends or neighbors or anyone else needs some acid for their experiment. And if no one else uses it or needs it, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of baking soda to the acid, watch it fizz up a little bit, and then dump it down the drain with lots and lots of water. I like to go ahead and turn the water on first, and then put it down with lots and lots of water. But the baking soda will try to neutralize some of that excess acid.